two important aspects of a good data visualization are first, a plot format that is well matched to the data being displayed, and second, sufficient explanatory text to make it clear what we are looking at. Explanatory text can be added to a plot in several different forms, including axis labels, titles, legends, or text added to the plot itself. Base graphics functions in R typically create axis labels by default, although these can be overridden through the arguments xlab that allow us to provide our own x-axis label, and ylab that allow us to provide our own y-axis label. Some base graphics functions also provide default titles, but again, these can be overridden, as we see here. The plot on the left uses the default title returned by the density function, which tells us that the plot was generated by this function using its default options and also gives the R specification for the variable whose density we're plotting. In the right-hand plot, this default title has been overridden by specifying the optional argument main. Note that by including the return character, backslash n, in this character string, we are creating a two-line title. Like the lines and points functions, text is a low-level graphics function that allows us to add explanatory text to an existing plot. To do this, we must specify values for x and y, the coordinates on the plot where the text will appear, and labels, a character vector that specifies the text to be added. By default, the text added to the plot is centered at the specified x values, but the optional argument adj can be used to modify this alignment. The default value is ADJ equals 0.5 for centered text, but other values give different alignments. ADJ equals 0 left justifies the text, so the string starts at X, while ADJ equals 1 right justifies the text, so the string ends at X. These three options are illustrated here. It is also possible to specify negative values, making the text start some distance to the right of x, or values greater than 1, making the text end some distance to the left of x. Finally, here we see some of the ways the appearance of added text can be changed through optional arguments to the text function. By default, text is created horizontally across the page, but this can be changed with the SRT argument, which specifies the angle of orientation with respect to the horizontal axis. Here, the text in red angles upward as a result of specifying SRT as the positive value 30 degrees, while the text in green angles downward by specifying SRT equals minus 45. These examples also show that we can specify the color of the text with the COL argument, and the red text shows that we can change the text size with the CEX argument. Here, by specifying CEX equals 1.2, we have specified the text to be 20% larger than normal. The other text characteristic that has been modified in this example is the font, set by the font argument. The default value is font equals 1, which specifies normal text, while font equals 2 specifies boldface, font equals 3 specifies italics, and font equals 4 specifies both boldface and italics. As noted, we can also add a legend to our plot, something that we will discuss in the next video. For now, it's